Hey guys, and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I will show you how we can migrate CAPT, so the Kotlin Annotation Processing Tool, to the new tool called KSP. Or it's not necessarily a new tool, but now more and more Android libraries start to support this new tool, which is much faster than CAPT. And that results in faster Gradle builds. So in this sample project, I've included two very common libraries that we like to use in Android. On the one hand, we have Dagger Hilt. On the other hand, we have room. So dependency injection and local databases, that is something we need in a lot of products in Android. And what you're probably used to is using these dependencies with the keyword cap. So that stands for Kotlin Annotation Processing Tool. And those are basically Java annotation processes that work with Kotlin code. So maybe you still remember from Java projects that we used annotation processor instead of capped capped is pretty much the equivalent just for Kotlin code base. And this tool is just very slow when it processes these annotations. So both Dagger Hill and Room are very annotation heavy libraries, which use annotations to generate code behind the scenes. And that is obviously something that takes some time during our build, especially for big projects. So what if we could actually reduce that amount of time that is needed to generate these classes by using a faster tool? And that faster tool is called KSP, which stands for Kotlin Symbol Processing. And in contrast to CAPT, this is a Kotlin first approach, so it works directly with the Kotlin code as we write it. While CAPT, on the other hand, needs to generate some uh, Java stub classes, which is why it takes so long, but KSP works directly on the Kotlin code. So therefore, with KSP, we can analyze our code directly without this uh, step in between that we generate these Java stubs, which is up to two times faster. So we can get up to two times faster Gradle builds, which is awesome. And in this project, I have set up Dagger Hilt and Room with CAPT, just a very empty setup. So I just set up some uh, Mavia model with a dependency injection repository, and of course, a Room database, which is then injected into this repository, but it's really completely empty. You can apply this and follow this video in any of your projects. What's important is that not all libraries support this new KSP plugin by default. So the big two libraries on Android we use very often that support this currently is Room and Dagger Hilt. Dagger Hilt just supported this very freshly. So I think the info that Hilt supports KSP now just came this week, but there are also libraries and frameworks which don't support KSP, for example, data binding. And if you want to use KSP for your products, especially for Daggerfield and Room, the first thing you need to make sure is that you're using Kotlin 1.9.0 at least. You can do this in your Build at Gradle product file. Let's open that and change this Kotlin version to 1.9.0. That is at least a requirement to uh, to be able to use Dagger Hilt with KSP. Also, what you need to make sure is that you're using at least 2.48 as the version for your uh, Dagger Hilt plugin, but also for these Dagger Hilt versions. So in your build upgrade app file, you want to make sure that you have the Hilt Android 2.48 dependency and the Hilt compiler 2.48 dependency as well. Then in order to add in the KSP Gradle plugin, we want to go to our project file again. And here under the plugins block, we want to paste this line. So there's com Google DevTools KSP, and you need to now find the right version for your product. If you're using Kotlin 1.9.0, this is the right version, but this differs depending on the Kotlin version you're using. You can find the corresponding version by going to the uh, GitHub page of the KSP plugin. So github.com slash Google slash KSP slash releases. And here you can see this is the latest version that we can actually use with KSP. So this is the one we use. If you're using Kotlin 1.9.10, then this would be the version you would need to use. Of course, if you're watching this video later, then a newer Kotlin version might be released, which you would then have to use inside Android Studio instead of this. The next step is then to go to your build at Gradle app file, scroll up to your plugins block. Here where you normally add the capped plugin, you want to replace that now with the DevTools KSP plugin instead, because that is what we now want to use for annotation processing. And then there is not too much left. If we scroll down, we want to also adjust the Kotlin compiler extension version here, since if we update the Kotlin version, we typically also need to update the Kotlin compiler version for Compose. We want to update this to 1.5.0 here. That works together with um, the Kotlin version 1.9.0. And last but not least, want to scroll down to our dependencies and instead of capped, we now want to write KSP. And that is where the magic happens. So we make sure that this dependency uses this new Kotlin symbol processing. Right now we get an error, but if we synchronize this, we hopefully don't have any errors anymore. 
Yes, the Gradle Sync was successful. You can see now KSP is recognized. And I would say we just launch our app to see if the dependency injection is still working, if the files are still properly being generated. For that, I will do a clean project and then launch this on my device. In my main activity, I'm effectively injecting this view model and then printed Hello World, which is inside the view model. This would only work if dependency injection works fine. And yes, it is launching on my device. If we take a look in Lockhat, then you can see here is our Hello World string. So everything is working just like before, with a difference that our builds are now faster thanks to KSP. So in future, whenever you're adding a library that requires capped, then you might ask yourself if it also supports KSP, because if it does, then you will get faster builds by using it. But with the Dagger and Rune, we already covered the two main libraries in Android that work with capped and are used super frequently across Android projects. So I hope you enjoyed this video and your faster Gradle builds in future. If you're looking for more advanced Android courses, then you can check the first link in this video's description because you will find all my advanced Android courses right there. And other than that, I wish you an amazing rest of your week. See you back in the next video. Bye bye.